Hey, good morning. So I've got Portland Saw, 6-inch coping saw, item 60369. Every time I go there and buy a Portland Saw, I get an argument that says, hey, that isn't covered. Then I ask them to show me where it says that, and they can't show me where it says that. So I get the percents off on this. Um, i got several of these and use them a lot. It comes with the blade in backwards. They're a set of work gloves that come in kind of handy. So what I do is get it close. You can flex this down just a little. And grab that tab. And you can let go that tight. Okay, so now you want to use it. And there's always uses for something like this. Finish the blade. Okay, that gives about the same finish as maybe something like a scroll saw. So that's kind of a rough finish. I don't know what you expect, but you can sand this when you're done. I can't imagine a lot of things that I would cut that with this over, say, a bandsaw with a quarter inch blade. But this does have a lot smaller blade, and it does let you do a lot of the things a bandsaw will do just in a smaller cut. Now they sell the blades for this and it's like five dollars for five which I think is kind of expensive but there are places you need something like this and it has a great ergonomic handle. It's got deep depth of cut although you can get around that by pivoting these just a little. It has a retainer clip so that actually doesn't come off. That's actually a good thing. See how versatile it is, is to cut straight down, come straight across, and come straight up. It has the versatility of a scroll saw, but sometimes you can't put a piece of work on the scroll saw and cut what you want, and that's where this comes in handy. I bought this to use to trim up scroll saw cuts that I've made for Intarsia that I can't quite get what I want on the scroll saw. Uh, so that's what I plan to use it for. You can do, it's an amazing versatile saw instead of cutting odd shapes so I thought maybe something like a back cut I could clean up a little bit with this. I uh, probably wouldn't use it for that that much but I do have a need every now and then to get in there with a file or something like this. This would be faster than a file maybe. It's nice that they give you this tab to hold that in place or it would try to twist and break the blade. You want to loosen this pretty much all the way. Maybe not all the way but pretty much. And it's designed to press down on this and pull that out. Press down on it and put it back in. And that tap actually helps you quite a bit. I have a couple of these I use for different things. And it's kind of hard to find a lot of different blades for it. I wish they had as many size blades for it as they did like the scroll saw. Because sometimes I need a really fine cut and sometimes I just want to take off a large piece of wood. I have a couple and I keep a different blade in each of them. And I picked up this third one because I wanted to have a different blade. When I'm working on something and I'm grabbing those saws, I don't want to change the blade all the time. And they're cheap enough that it doesn't matter anyway. They're only a few dollars. I think I paid about $5.99 for this uh, at some sale they had. I can afford to have three of them without paying a fortune for them. That's another reason I like Harbor Freight. With, if I have had to pay more for this, I might not have three of them. I might be changing the blades more often, and that costs me time. I don't have a lot of time, so that actually helps me. So, item 60369, about $6, and works really well. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.